The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra embraces what it means to be Ultra, a phone that transcends the smartphone category. It offers more than any other phone and somehow manages to improve upon last year's Ultra in every way. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has better battery life, faster performance, and even better cameras, so you will also pay a bit more for the improvements. The new AI features are the only things that can slow this phone down except for Samsung's aging and terrible software, which buries every exciting thing under layers upon layers of settings and menus. When you see the Ultra in action, it's worth the price, and some features are downright magical, but there's more room than ever for improvement at the top. I bought a Galaxy S23 Ultra last year, trading a Galaxy S21 Ultra for it, and I am sad to report that trade-in deals and discounts at launch are not as enticing as they were a year ago. If you are trading up from last year's model, expect to pay hundreds over your trade value. I would still say it's worth making the leap just this once. Older phones are going to be left out of the newest AI features more and more with every update. That means values could plummet the first time Samsung delivers bad news and drops the features built in on the Galaxy S22 Ultra or something even newer. Is this phone worth such a high price? If you are asking that question, you are reviewing wrong review. You want the Galaxy S24 Plus, which is probably worth it. This is the Ultra, this is the extreme phone, the one that does what no other phone can do. You can't put a normal price tag on Ultra, it doesn't fit. The Galaxy S23 Ultra was our overall best camera phone of last year, so rumors that Samsung would be dropping the optical zoom from 10x to 5x set off a flurry of concern. The 10x zoom was the standout feature on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, set from the 200MP sensor, the two zoom lenses, the 100x digital astrophotography, the AI image enhancements, and everything else the phone could do. Still, it's odd for Samsung to take a step backwards, especially where specs are concerned. Let's start with the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 5x zoom lens. Samsung has not taken a step backwards, more a step sideways. The Galaxy S24 Ultra still has the best zoom camera you can find on a smartphone. It is better than the Galaxy S23 Ultra's 10x zoom and it's much better than the 5x zoom you will find on the iPhone 50 Pro Max most of the time, like when you are really using the zoom to its full extent. When you zoom in to 10x or even 100x, the Galaxy S24 Ultra produces images with better color and much better dynamic range than the Galaxy S23 Ultra, where the older camera made images look flat, you will see more depth and shadow with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. What you won't see is plenty of detail. Samsung has sacrificed the fine details in images for better overall quality. It's good trade. Those 10x and 100x zoom images from the S23 Ultra look terrible. Sure, you could make out some details, but they are mixed with noise and blur like a virtual chopped salad. On the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you won't see as much, but you will be happier sharing those photos because they actually look like good pictures rather than police evidence. Check out some camera sample from Galaxy S24 Ultra and some comparison between Galaxy S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra or iPhone 15 Pro Max.
Ever since Apple started making its own Bionic chipset for the iPhone, we haven't seen an Android phone that could beat Apple's best iPhone in raw performance. That ends with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Ultra is just as fast as the iPhone 15 Pro Max and in many ways, it's even faster. You may never notice the performance gains, but I have to give credit where credit is due. Qualcomm and Samsung have managed to top Apple Silicon for the first time in years. What does that mean? In the real world, everything that you could do on your smartphone, you can now do faster. If you play games like Call of Duty Mobile or Tenshin Impact, you can play at the highest settings and experience fluid frame rates and shutter-free gaming. Pair your game with an Xbox or PlayStation controller via Bluetooth and you will be destroying noobs on pathetic pixels and cheap Motorola phones in your multiplayer arena of choice. Seriously, having a phone that responds so quickly to your commands and movements is a, is a huge win for multiplayer games. Is the Galaxy S24 Ultra a gaming phone? Then you'd better believe it. I tested the Galaxy S24 Ultra against the Asus ROG Phone 8 Pro, a phone that is truly made for gaming. The Galaxy S24 Ultra had no problem beating the ROG Phone 8 in every metric, even producing a higher frame rates on the newest games. If gaming is not your thing, you can still feel the performance benefits. I edit photos in Adobe Lightroom and on my Galaxy S24 Ultra, I can move the adjustment sliders freely and watch my photo change in real time. In side-by-side -side tests, using the new Adobe Intelligent Masking features, the Galaxy S24 Ultra was able to find and select my foreground subject in seconds faster than my older Galaxy S23 Ultra. The only features that cause a delay on the Galaxy S24 Ultra are the new AI features, and that's ironic. For the first time in year, Samsung's commands a lead over its rival Apple, but it loaded the Galaxy S24 Ultra with AI features that Apple has skipped so far. Instead of feeling like everything moves faster on my Galaxy, I have to wait while the AI composes new text messages or makes edits in the photo gallery. Those features aren't worth the wait if there was no waiting. If writing suggestions appeared in real time the way Adobe Lightroom changes my photos, I'd be amazed by the AI tools and I'd use them more often. Instead, every time I see the AI starts low appear, I see a stop sign. You won't find a phone with longer battery life than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In our lab testing, which involves continuously browsing the web on 5G until the battery runs out, the Galaxy S24 Ultra in its default adaptive display mode lasted a huge 16 hours and 45 minutes. That beats the impressive 14 hours and 2 minutes the iPhone 15 Pro Max managed in our testing. It also outlasts the Galaxy S23 Ultra by more than 2 hours, as beats many other Android phones too. You'd have to buy a hardcore gaming phone with a massive battery inside like the Red Magic 9 Pro with its 6500 mAh cell to get any more battery life from your phone. Samsung didn't increase the size of the battery over last year's Ultra, it just improved power management on the Galaxy S24 Ultra so it saves more juice. The adaptive screen settings can be aggressive but you can turn them off if you need a bright display all time. You can also adjust settings like screen resolution and processor performance so to save more power. There are even more extreme options, Samsung used to have an ultra power saving mode. But now that's just another setting under the power saving features letting you limit the apps available, turn off age panels, dim the display and generally shut down everything you don't need to conserve every watt. There should be a more intelligent power management option that reads your habits and adapts the power saving to the way you use the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Oh wait, there is a such mode and it's called adaptive power saving but you will never find it. Adaptive power saving is buried under the settings menu then under device care. Then you have to tap the battery graph which is a button that doesn't actually look like a button but trust me, it's a button. Then tap power saving which also looks like plain text and not a button. Again it's a button. Hooray! You are almost there. Just find the three little dots in the upper right corner which is Samsung way to hide even more menus and then you will finally be able to open the adaptive power saving settings. Why Samsung? Why? Why does it have to be this way? 
why can't my galaxy s24 ultra come with adaptive power saving turned on by default if this feature is so useful why is it hidden beneath five layers of menus beneath buttons that don't look like buttons and sub menus that are just cryptic dots enough is enough fix the software or oh, this is my last galaxy ultra the Galaxy S24 Ultra charges at 45W, which is a respectable charging speed fast enough to get you will past 50% if you only have a half an hour to charge your phone. In 15 minutes, my Galaxy S24 Ultra was just under 40% charged and it took around 45 minutes to charge the phone completely. That's even faster than Samsung promises. There are phones that charges faster, like the OnePlus 12 that comes with an 80W charger. That phone can reach 100% charge in about half an hour. And OnePlus even has a super fast wireless charger that is capable of 50W charging. The S24 Ultra can handle up to 15W wireless charging, including the latest QI2 charging standard. The Galaxy S24 Ultra can also charge other devices wirelessly and if you can find wireless power sharing in the settings menu, I will personally send you a price instead. Just add a wireless power sharing button to the quick settings menu if that's a feature you use often. Unlike the OnePlus 12, the Galaxy S24 Ultra does not come with a charger in the box and if you want the fastest charging speed, you will need to pay attention to the charger you buy. You can spend a lot of money and get a big Walmart from Samsung or you can do right thing to get Anchor 730 Nano Charger from Amazon for around half the price. A refreshed design does not make a true upgrade. New features, new technology and lifestyle enhancing alternations too. And the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has all of this along with seemingly every other features or specification bump you could want from a new phone. Not only is it worth buying if you don't already own a Galaxy Ultra phone, I'd even say it's worth buying if you have a Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's really that good. Obviously, you don't need to upgrade your Galaxy S23 Ultra, but it's heartening to discover Samsung hasn't just sent out a bog refresh of its most expensive non-folding phone this year which is really what it did with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 over the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The Galaxy AI stuff is being pushed hard and while some of it is worth your time, it's not a reason to choose the Galaxy S24 Ultra on its own. It's a combination of all its parts from the amazing battery life to the genuinely improved camera that makes it a must buy. Although I say it's even worth an upgrade from the year-old Galaxy S23 Ultra, I do think you should mostly go into the Galaxy S24 Ultra with the intention of keeping it for years, quite apart from Samsung's efforts to use more recycled materials, the software update commitment, the sheer ability of the device and the price bump all shout, keep me in all Honestly, I don't think you will tire of the Galaxy S24 Ultra or reach its full potential anytime soon. Buy it and keep hold of it as you simply can't do much better. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.